Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, we've got uh, some new filament to try. Just got this, literally, postman just dropped this off. Uh, Creality, and it's the first time I'm using uh, PTG. Uh, so I'll open this quick, if I can find the bleed. I'm not going to waste too much time on this. There's a the filament there. It's one kilogram. And there's the 220 to 250 uh, TC, there's a number on there, it's blue, it's like a basic blue. What's interesting is, if you can see that, it's got the filament size on there, 1.75mm, and then it's got these little gauges in there, so 100mm, 100 100 meters, sorry, 100 meters, 255 and 300, is that 300mm? 300 meters at the top one, so it's got over 300 meters, and the same. If oh, then it's got like a different mark there, which says if it's got three millimeter diameter, that's how much you'll get. So they're using this spool for, for three mil as well, which is a, a nice little feature. Same on the back 1.75 and 3 mil. I quite like that, so I can see what how much I've got left. So hopefully if this is any good I'll probably buy further ones of this. So what we're going to do, this is Creality, so what we'll do is we'll pop this on the machine uh, and see if we can print something out. Things I've got to print out as I've got, I don't know yet, I'll have a look to see what I'm going to print out, but we'll be back shortly. So this is what we're going to print out using the new filament. So, so what it is, it's just part for a... Uh, a light LED light which got broke and this is where the light goes and it's flexible the battery goes in there that's a ch uh, charge controller part uh, I, it's in two halves so I can glue it together because these bits come out and go into there so hopefully and that's where the switch is going to go I don't know I've never tried I've never it's the first print so I'm going to do it as a draft <clears throat> so my settings are uh, layer height 0.3, initial layer height 0.2, layer width 100, thickness 0.8, 0.8 for the bottom. I haven't got iron enabled. We've got infill density 15, grid pattern uh, overfill, and we've got 230 on the bed. Now, the box on the box it says uh, 220 to 250. So I'm going to go up another 10 degrees to 230. We'll try that. <clears throat> it doesn't actually tell me about the bed. Normally I print at 60, but I'll print at 70 and try that, see how that goes, if I can maintain that, because I don't have an enclosure. It's quite cool here. Hopefully it'll help me do that. Print speed 30, 30, outer wall, inner wall 30, travel speed 70, initial layer speed 10. I am using support. Have a look. Now, the only spot I'm worried about really is this part. I'm not bothered about... I've got no support here, so I might get some it, but I might get little strings and things. I don't really care about that. That's nothing because a switch is going to go into there, and this can be tidied up. I'm not even bothered about this bit, but this is the only part I've got that for. So, infill of about 15%, as you can see. We've got a, a brim. We're using a brim. Comes in two halves. Brim nine count, and that's it really. It's two hours and forty three minutes, and it's going to use ten meters, forty three grams. So, what we're going to do is uh, save that now, and then we'll pop it on the printer and we'll have a look and get this going. It might work, it might not. I don't really know. We'll just have to see by the first couple of layers and see what problems we get. Yeah. Okay. Back over the printer. I've just set this up, I'm doing a calibration bed leveling with this PTG, the Creality one. Uh, I think I've got it figured out now. It's been a bit of a funny one, messing about with settings, but let me zoom in to see if you can see. That. Pretty decent quality. 
There's a little bit of swinging. Well, not on this one, but what I've been getting. And sometimes you need to be ready with a uh, tweezers just to pick up them little fine bits. Okay, so we're back again. It's just just a little bit over three hours. It's nearly finished at ninety nine percent. It's just finishing off now. Okay, back at the bench. So there's the print. I'm quite impressed with the first print. I mean, I expect it to be a disaster. Uh, there's the base. As you can see, it's stuck quite well. It's like glass. Well, you nearly can't feel any. Literally, is like glass. Now it's got, I did put some glue on the bed so it came off, literally, if that was the bed, I just popped, I mean there's resistance but not enough to, to knock if it's printing, but I just cracked it at the bed and popped off, just like a normal print to be honest. Uh, so you can see all the layers are actually squashed out a bit, so that's done its job, there's no lifting. So this support material needs to come off. Let's see how easy this comes off. Yeah, it's quite good. Like it doesn't. To me, it just acts like PLA, and I didn't expect. I thought it was going to be a pain to get this support material off. It is quite rough round, round these edges because I've got. I didn't have a great deal of support, and obviously the layer height is pretty bad, and you can see there. But again, I'm not bothered because there's a switch going to go in there, so th the internals don't really matter. Even the outside doesn't matter, matter a great deal to me. It's not going to be a sure piece. It's just an old torch, internals, a switch, a battery. Uh, and I usually just sand it all anyway. So I'll do all this type of thing. And just take all them raddies off. Like so. I don't mind that. I don't mind doing that. But obviously if you don't have to, you can get the settings of it tweaked. It'll make things a little bit easier for you so this will all get sanded along here just with the file the file is pretty much the same as PLA <clears throat> okay and then so there's a battery going to go in there from this end that's that little slot is for me wiring and that's going to get glued together and I'll show you why let me get the piece that is there. so this this is what I'm doing so this is gonna fit together like this yeah it's the wrong size oh I haven't cleaned it out properly once I clean it out maybe. so this torch broke this LED torch broke and that's gonna fit in there it might need cleaning out a bit I think it's a it's not exactly round, it's a little bit warped. But that is going to fit in to there once I clear all the junk out. So it's going to be like that. That side's going to go into there, fit in. That means I can turn it this way and it also swivels left and right. Okay, guys, these are the things I printed out uh, with the PTG. Uh, I haven't done anything else. This is all I've done, so I thought I'd show you this. Uh, I promised I was going to show you these working, so I put these two lights out. I've repaired this one, and there's some other parts there. So let's have a talk about the lights first. So this thing here, I've got two of them, which is really nice. Got the switches at the end. At this end, I've got the charge controller. Yeah, USB in, just a normal phone charger. And it charges at 1C, so there's one 18650 battery just in there, sits at the bottom. These things swivel around so you can swivel them back and forward. 
and go left and right so you can have them what you want and they work great I won't blind you but there you go that one's I've got one out there I'll have to have a look at that just notice that yeah one's out and the one's gone down so anyway I'll have, I'll have a look at that one just noticed it so that one that works great needs cleaning up a little bit but the, I had to sand it a little bit but there's two halves brought together and they work great so that's them sorted nice feature what they're good for is if you're doing some some work and you need a little bit more illumination you can just angle them down a little bit and switch them on and you can see it's adding more light straight away if you're working on something you can change the perspective whatever you need it's out of feel of vision it gives you that extra little bit of light so there's them I'll leave them there actually I see it's like and then I've printed uh, this cover out for this this light the the batteries what were in it melted on a charge and the damages so I took them out I've printed this out the PTG and I've put Two 18650 batteries in, so two, so charging at two, so 12 volts in for the uh, for the two batteries charging 8.4 volts. Tell me out exactly how I wonder. I didn't have any surface mounted uh, adapters to charge it up, so I just <laughs> find something like like this. As you can see, I just glued it on. Works great. Switch at the end as the light. Works fantastic, and it's just a normal charger. And I found the charger obviously, and I matched this up later on. If I get myself some surface mounted uh, charge parts, I might do that, but just that's all I had. But the print itself worked out great. This part here that I had to cut a hole in because the back wasn't exactly the charging at the right uh, 8.4, was like 8.9 or something. So, for some reason, so I had to cut a hole in. Uh, drilled a hole in and I got in with a screwdriver and adjusted it again and I just glued some of that over the top which is fine a little air roll while it's charging in case and that's it really uh, magnet still works this all works it's just a nice nice little light fantastic so that was repaired I was believing using the printer for for real world applications uh, and then I've got some of these things so this one first this one's just a bracket which uh, goes on the wall, there's the wall, and I put my ladders on. It's printed out pretty decent, really, I had it like quite warm, 230 degrees, because I wanted a good layer adhesion, and it's holding the aluminium ladders, which is quite heavy ladders actually. Uh, for, yeah, so I've got two of them, nice good roll bolt in there, so there's that. And then there's these things, what these things are, if anyone doesn't know, Something I knocked up on Thingiverse, and what the for? I'll just bring this in. It's just for car jack. Oh, that's where your body, your car goes in there, and you jack it up like that. So, in fact, I've got another one here, just to show you. Just move them out the road. There we go. That one's done in uh, normal PLA. Now, I wanted something stronger. I've done this before. I had before I got this PTG, but this PTG is like super uh, good for for getting knocks and and just stretching, and it's a bit more flexible. So I'll put this out the road because I haven't got enough space. How this works is there's the bottom. So I just I've got two different types. I've got one which goes lifts the car this way, and then one lifts the car that way. So you can see as that goes on, it lifts the car like that. I haven't put it on yet because I need to sand, there's a couple of raggy bits sharp there, so I uh, either sand these or sand them. And then there's another one there which is the same, and then this one's the opposite way in case I need to lift from that direction. So worked out great, nice and strong, got infill of about 25% or something like that, but well worth it, these should be super durable and last. Uh, I haven't tried them out yet, but I've got to do an oil change in the car shortly, and I'll be using it then. I don't really normally use these type of jacks, but I changed the spring on the car the other week, 
I had a tiny uh, MOT anyway, but needed a, a new spring, had a bit cracked off the bottom. So I needed to lift the calf from the body so the, wheel, the, the wheels could sag down, it was the back wheels, so I could get some spring tensions on. And that's the first time I've used these types. I don't normally like them, but there's usually one in your spare, in your boot. I normally use a hydraulic jack. So this one actually filled. What happened is I'm using the Anet A8, but I'm using the Anet A6 display. Now, if anyone knows this, the A6 has got a reset button just on the screen, just below the control knob. So I was printing like an idiot. I had to touch the reset button by mistake. Normally on the A8, it's, you've got to lean across and get it to the board. I'll switch it off and switch it on. So it stopped. So that's where it stopped there, if you can see. Just in that layer there. So what I've done is, uh, if I get like a marker or something, I'll just use, use this. So I restarted it. This was still stuck to the bed just with this part. So you imagine all this wasn't there. So just that part from there to there. I brought the head in, got the right height. Uh, layered 8 or 10 or whatever it was and then uh, I restarted the print from there. I deleted all this uh, uh, this part in the g-code so basically they come in uh, and then just start printing straight from this point here and that was the result. So you can see the layer line but you can see it's not too bad and it seemed to like uh, bump the heat up a little bit more as well while I was doing it um, and I reprinted the same layer, so if it was at that like layer 7, I rep I'd done layer 7 again. So yeah, I'm going to try them out. They need sand a little bit, but they worked out pretty nice. Uh, pretty good, I'm really happy with them. And that's it guys, that part there is, is infill to go into there. It's a little bit snug, I need to sand it down a little bit. But if you knock that in, and you, you can lift on a flat surface then. And there's different ones of them for that. Okay, guys, this wraps up the the video for. Let's put that in there so you can see. This wraps up the video for this PTG Creality. If anyone's interested, if they've got the name of it, would I recommend this uh, this uh, stuff? Yes, definitely. In fact, I bought another one, different colour, uh, but I definitely recommend it. It's really strong. As long as you keep the heat up so it melts, it's 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 just fantastic stuff. This is the the new stuff, isn't it? This is what everyone's going to be using. Uh, ABS to me is a pain in the backside. I've got ABS, don't use it. It's just this is in between PLA and ABS, so you've got to be you've got to use a heated bed. Uh, you've got to have it stuck down decently, and you've got to have a, a decent temperature, maybe 70 degrees. I was printing the bed at. Uh, and then just just try it and then try a couple of prints and then see whether you can separate the layers and things and depending on what you want to do I will I, I'll, I'll keep this stuff for things I want to make which is going to like hold things strong things things I can bat, like bash around I'm not bothered about it PLA is quite uh, brittle like we all know so these things are fantastic and also sands up really nice I mean that I mean, you can't see, but I've sanded these a little bit because it was a, the layers looked a little bit rough, but it comes out like perfect. I mean, if you could be bothered to sand it properly, you'd get a perfect flat finish. So I'm really happy. It really sands really nice. Yeah, I've sanded that bit as well. So yeah, would I recommend it definitely? I want to get some more. I'll show you the box in case you forgot. And there's the box there, Creality. Any marks on it? There's some numbers there. Don't know that. Uh, and uh, that about wraps this up for this video, guys. So if you if you like this video, please thumbs up. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you do. Because I'm trying to get to a thousand, <laughs> slowly getting there, and I'd really, really do appreciate. It. I'd like to be able to give do some giveaways and things. I just can't at the moment because I've got nothing there. I need to get the channel built up a little bit more. So. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>